not to get too personal, but you are about to have a very bad day. Tell me about it. Am I got You've made a very bad mistake. There's a guy out there setting off bombs. For some reason, he's very angry with me. Especially in America, people like to root for the underdogs. They like to root for the guys that don't necessarily look like he's going to make it. It's the poor guy in white socks and guinea t-shirt who won't give up. John McClane, I think, probably came from the same blue-collar background that I come from. John McClane character was built out of Bruce. We said, OK, who's this guy? Lower middle class kid from New Jersey with a lot of spunk. OK, well, we better try to build John McClane out of that. Well, if you do that, I can kind of lean out of the booth and actually play it left hand. I've always made the choice to play him as a guy who doesn't want to be doing what he has to do in these films. And if he had any other choice, he wouldn't do it. The camera always sees who's the real person. So successful characterizations, if you will, or successful casting is often figuring out who the person is and building a part for it. He's in situations where he has absolutely no other choice but to do the one thing that he has to do. Bad idea. Jump onto a train that he knows is about to explode. Get Climb out of a two and a half ton cement truck and, and get up on top of him and surf it on a wave, on a 42 foot wave of water. Over three. The, the neat thing about Bruce is that he is physically active. He's a good athlete. He can perform a lot of his own stunts to within the parameters of good conscience. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I can't remember when I felt any better than this. The stunt crews, the special effects teams have, have gotten have, is so sophisticated now, and, and even more sophisticated really than, than seven years ago when we first did when we first started this, you know, this diehard series. It's some scary stuff. I mean, jumping off things, jumping through things, hanging from things. It's always a, it's a little element of you know, danger in there, but it's so rehearsed and so thought out that it's pretty safe. He knows when to stop. He has an obligation, of course, to a film, any actor does, that if they get hurt, they can't replace him. We are competing with, with not only what we've done in the past, but with, with the other films that have, that everybody wants to do, you know, bigger and better and scarier stunts. <laughs> One of the things I want to point out today is this special action pocket that we have right here. You know, I don't have anything in there right now, but you could put a gun. Sam's used a knife earlier in the picture that came out of that special action pocket. And if you have money or change or, you know, Tums sometimes, because, you know, action work is, is tough, and you want to, if you have some Tums, you have a little, you know, stomach problem. That's the key. You can put that in there, or, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times you need an extra pocket. Don't have a place for it. Watch this. If I'm running, if I'm boxing and doing some shit, right, put my gun right in there. See how it works? Look at that. Okay? See, now I can. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. OK, OK, bad guys. Whoa, OK. Ooh, OK, Mr. German bad guy. Boom, boom. Then get the gun. See, I'm ready to. I'm there. I got it. Action fashion. Jimmy, <laughs> shouldn't he say something about you OK? I'm asking him very genuine questions about the business and dealing with, you know, celebrity and all that kind of stuff. Mainly because people keep keep telling me that I'm going to be a celebrity, so I want to know how to be one if that time ever comes. Jesus, John. You look like shit. Are you all right? Yes. Laundry day. Now that you mention I have experienced a, you know, like a burning sensation between my toes. I thought it was just some athlete's foot or something. Popness is not a major part of his personality. You know, would you call him an anti-hero? I don't know. I've seen other films where the hero is a kind of what's the opposite of reluctant, where they are where they are willing heroes, and that somehow doesn't have the same mystique or the same value as someone who who, who quietly does his job. Where are you going? 
try and get his attention. He always wanted to be a cop. He always wanted to do these things. There's a nobility in that, I think, in, in doing a job. It's a very thankless job. I mean, look at the at how most cops are treated today. You know, they're, they're spit at. People say, ah, oh, cops. But in truth, man, they are the only thing standing between us and everything else bad in the world. And if they all decided to take a week off, it'd, it'd be a pretty exciting week. The underdog who just refuses to quit and acknowledge that he's beaten. Sue me. The action genre, in general, provides a vicarious opportunity for the audience to, to experience the thrill of these big, larger-than-life things. Say hello to your brother. And it's entertainment, I guess is what I'm saying. And we provide that without having to watch the news or go jump off a, you know, a big bridge yourself.